Hey movie enthusiasts, it's Recap Movie Club time. Grab your popcorn and settle in, as we take you through the twists and turns of this unforgettable film. The movie is set in Italy. After the end of World War II, Ferruccio returns from the front to his hometown and first of all goes to his beloved Clelia. He proposes to her, a young lad. He visits his family and tells his father that farming is a thing of the past. He advises his old man to move to the city. The guy shares his plans to start his own tractor manufacturing business. Our hero tells that being in the war, he was a mechanic and learned a lot about different techniques and engines. His father is very skeptical of his son's idea, because the neighbors are engaged in tractors and are monopolists. But Ferruccio does not give up, convincing the man that he can make a tractor that will be better and cheaper than the competition. He is inspired by the idea of accomplishing something great so that the world will remember his last name. Yet the elderly farmer refuses to support his son, believing that he will simply live his life for nothing. Six months pass. Ferruccio and his friend Matteo participate in the Valley of Motors race, which is opened by Enzo Ferrari. During the race, Ferruccio is constantly pushing his buddy to go faster. Unable to stand it, he grabs the steering wheel and tries to steer the car himself. As a result, the two men do not share control of the car and drive off the road and lose. After the race, the friends are very upset. Ferruccio is convinced that they could have won. He admits to Clelia that after the defeat he has lost faith in himself. His companion tries to support him and confesses that she is pregnant. A few days later, Lamborghini visits his father again at the farm. He asks to help him and lend him money. When the man gives his son his wallet, he assures his old man that he will pay him back the entire amount with interest. The farmer has a difficult decision to make, yet he decides to take a risky step. He mortgages his farm. However, when Clelia finds out what has happened, she is strongly against Ferruccio taking such a risk. After all, he has three younger brothers who have worked their entire lives on the farm and which should rightfully go to them. She asks him to find another way to get the money, because there is always the risk of losing everything. The girl demands that Ferruccio go to the bank and deposit the money in his father's account. However, the boy instead opens an account in his own name and keeps all the money for himself. Ferruccio and Matteo equip their garage with all the necessary equipment and then begin to develop a sketch of their first tractor. While discussing its technical specifications, the young inventors buy an old tractor from a junkyard and get to work. They are enthusiastic to modernize it and turn it into their model. One day, while the boys are having coffee, Matteo notices a beautiful girl named Anita. However, he is shy to meet her. Ferruccio decides to help his shy friend and strikes up a conversation with her. He tries to introduce Anita to his buddy. But Matteo is too shy and can't keep the conversation going when Anita walks away. Lamborghini advises his friend not to give up, and then he will surely get what he wants. The guys work hard on their tractor for several days, replacing the engine and other parts. Eventually they manage to complete the assembly of their machinery, and Ferruccio tells the company logo of his family name. When the boy returns home, he learns from the maid that Clelia has bled and has been taken to the hospital. Ferruccio rushes to the hospital, where the girl is in labor. The doctor informs our hero that a healthy baby was born. However, the mother did not survive because of heavy bleeding. Lamborghini returns to his garage. Fury overwhelms him. He begins to smash everything around him. He even plans to smash his tractor, but still he does not raise his hand to harm his invention. Clelia is buried in the backyard of the farm, after which Father Ferruccio says that it cannot be delayed to baptize the baby. The death of his beloved does not extinguish the ardor of the young designer. He comes to the bank to his acquaintance and offers him to invest in his tractor model and create a thousand copies. The man agrees. Ferruccio and Matteo sit in a restaurant and celebrate their small victory. During the meal, Matteo notices Anita entering the establishment. He confesses to his friend that he is crazy about the girl. Lamborghini tells Matteo to be brave and talk to Annette. While he himself is leaving the restaurant to get some air, sitting outside by the lake and smoking a cigarette, he notices Annette approaching him. She confesses that the man she likes is not Matteo, but Ferruccio. Lamborghini warns the girl to leave or he will take advantage of her and she will hate him for life. However, she does not listen to him and takes a seat next to him. Meanwhile, Matteo who has left the establishment, notices his friend and Annette sitting next to each other. He meets his buddy as he walks back towards the restaurant and shames him for his act. However, Ferruccio justifies that his child needs a mother and adds that they would never be a woman, Matteo. These words deeply hurt his friend's heart and he issues Lamborghini a slap on the wrist. He asks Ferruccio for 25% of the company and then leaves. 20 years pass, Ferruccio by then owns a huge tractor company. Annette, who eventually becomes his wife, says that a teacher complains about his son Tonino, who has poor grades. However, when he meets Tonino Ferruccio, he does not scold him. 
He tells his son that there are things that are much more important than grades. He confesses that he misses his mother. Finally, he warns Tanino that if he does not correct his grades, he will buy him a Ferrari. One day, Ferruccio is visited by a man named Bob Wallace who is looking for a job. He tells him that neither Fiat nor Ferrari wanted to hire him to join them. Our hero decides to give the laborer a chance and gets him a job. The same day Ferruccio meets Enzo Ferrari and complains that his cars have a problem with the clutch. Lamborghini informs him that it has a solution to fix this flaw and offers Ferrari a partnership. However, the elderly businessman looks down on his interlocutor, calling him a farmer, and chases him away. Ferruccio, along with his family, visits a photo exhibition featuring images from a bullfight. He is told about the fiercest of bulls, the Mira. Ferruccio is inspired by this magnificent and proud animal, and he gets the idea to design the most powerful machine that will amaze all people. He invites two experts from Maserati and Ferrari and shows a sketch of his car. However, both engineers are sure that Ferruccio's idea is impossible to realize. However, having reflected, the men came to the opinion that it is possible to try to make an aluminum engine instead of a cast iron one. This would greatly reduce the weight of the car and allow to put a more powerful motor. Lamborghini wants to be able to create the car in six months in time for the Geneva show. Anita is very skeptical of her husband's new idea. She is afraid that by taking all the money that the tractors brought him and investing it in his sports car, he might lose everything. She cites examples of workers going on strike at other factories and production stopping. However, Lamborghini reassures her, saying that unlike others, he takes care of his staff. The dinner ends with the spouses quarreling. Leaving the table, Anita gives Ferruccio the resume of his new secretary, informing him that she fired the past one, with whom Lamborghini had been sleeping in secret. After a while, the engineers manage to invent an engine for the new model. However, it turns out to be too big, causing a hood closure problem. Ferruccio plans to design a new engine, but there is no time left for that. As a result, the man decides to place the carburetor horizontally instead of vertically. Just before the Geneva show, Lamborghini manages to finish the new car. Ferruccio congratulates everyone on the success and says that it is time for them to start thinking about designing a new car because after the exhibition people will want to see more sports cars from their company. Ferruccio says that he has already thought of a name for his new car, Lamborghini Miura. One day, sitting in a restaurant, Ferruccio meets a young girl. He shows her his drawing of the future car and flirts a little. All this happens in front of his wife and son. And it recalls Ferruccio's words when he said that he could never love her. The woman admits that she always hoped to fill the hole in his heart from the loss of his first wife. However, instead of hatred, she only feels pity for her spouse. The woman says it is over and says goodbye to Ferruccio. The day comes when Ferruccio tests the new car by taking a trip. Lamborghini is overjoyed and admits that the car turned out exactly the way he wanted it to. At the exhibition in Geneva, Lamborghini's car completely overshadows Ferrari. All the attention of the audience is drawn to the new racing car. Time passes. A wave of large-scale strikes runs through Italy, workers. The Lamborghini factory was no exception. Ferruccio has to sell his company. Half he leaves to his son and half to his brothers. At dinner with his son Tonino, his father says he has achieved everything he wanted in life. However, he wonders if it was worth it, but Ferruccio cannot find an answer to his son's question. The movie ends with Ferruccio walking alone in his abandoned garden, eating grapes and looking at photographs from his youth. Hanging in his house, a new model of car is parked in his garage, Lamborghini Miura. Ferruccio drives down the road, remembering his friend Matteo and also his first favorite woman, Claudia.